So my visit here was fantastic, first of all. It was just wonderful. The U.S. Air Force Chief Scientist, Dr. Micah Ensley, paid Beale Air Force Base a visit from April 22nd to the 25th to get a first-hand look at the science behind our intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance mission. One of Dr. Ensley's main goals was to see the preparation and teamwork that transitions high flyers from the ground to the air. I came to see what was going on in your ISR operations. I was blown away by uh, not only the individual operations that are going on, but the real teamwork that's happening here. I think that's, that's one of the takeaways is these aren't just you know, individual assets going on, but the whole team that comes together to achieve a Global Hawk mission or a U-2 mission. Dr. Ensley is the first female chief scientist to take the position since it was first established 60 years ago. The role of a chief scientist is specific only to the Air Force, with the responsibility to assess and advise on scientific struggles that affect the Air Force mission. My job is to look not just at what we're doing today, but also where we need to be going in the future. So I'm looking out 20, 30 years into the future. I want to see what's happening in academia, in industry, uh, across all of our coalition partners, where the thrust of science and technology is, and make sure we don't have any gaps. The better part of Dr. Ensley's trip was spent getting briefed, suited up, and pressurized in preparation for something not a lot of civilians get to do. A flight and a U-2 Dragon Lady reaching 70,000 feet into the air. Uh, you know, just putting on the pressure suit, experiencing what that's like, uh, experiencing the challenges that our pilots have and being able to just physically operate in that kind of environment in the, in the suit was, was really instructive. It's, it's a very difficult job. Uh, but they did a lot of things right. Uh, it was very hard to reach some things, particularly uh, with that suit on. Uh, so there's always things that can be done better, but, but overall it's, it's a terrific plane and it does a great job. Reporting from Beale Air Force Base, California, I'm Airman First Class, Benjamin Buganig.